Yes, well, I'm very busy. Oh, uh, of course. I just thought I could draw upon your expertise. <sighs> All in due time, hmm? Good day. Oh. Am I dating often? Yeah. Lately, I've been out with a different girl every night of the week. But the odd thing is, I can't seem to form a connection with any of them. You feel disconnected from them. Exactly. Why do you think that is? Because look at me. I'm a fat, disgusting pig. I'm just glad I found a safe, effective weight loss technique. You mean vomiting? Yes. Say more about that. All right. Um... Ordinarily, I'd um, be attracted to such a beautiful woman, but in that fuchsia dress? Ooh, no, thank you. Would you be attracted to her if she wore a different color? Ah. Uh, uh, depends on the color. Depends on the color. Interesting. Why do you think that is? Isn't it obvious? Soap removes the bacteria from other things. But what removes the bacteria from the soap? I'll tell you, nothing. And that's why you wash the soap. And the, the soap, soap that, that washes the soap. Washes the soap. But there's still nothing to wash that soap, is there? No, I don't think so. And how does that make you feel? Terrible. I can't even look at them. They're awful. Just freaky and awful. So you're frightened by the turtle? <laughs> this seems to cause you a great deal of distress. No, not really. I mean, she's a sweet and gentle person who occasionally throws china at my head. She does this several times a week. Exactly. See, it's very little. You say little. Little or big, round or perky, panty lines or thong, no matter the butt, I gotta grab it. So it's just getting arrested that you don't like. There's the rub. That must be difficult for you. You damn right it's difficult for me. So last night I'm about to make love to this fine woman. And then she goes and blows out the damn candle. I'm telling you, Doc. It was pitch black. Was your fear of the dark any less acute this time? I damn near crapped my pants, man. Then I go running for the light that was coming from underneath the door and busted my head open on the stereo. You seem frustrated. Look, Doc, this has been a lot of sessions. Is this therapy thing gonna work? All in due time. Now you've been saying that for the last two years. Dr. Stern? Dr. Stern, this is Dr. Williams. Dr. Williams. Results of my CAT scan, yes? 
Well, I couldn't possibly come in this week to discuss it. I'm swamped. Well, if there's something you need to tell me, perhaps you should tell me now. We're both doctors. I'm sorry, I have six weeks till what? seen a few girls. Take last week. Tuesday night was Melissa. Wednesday night was Cindy. Thursday night was Joanna. I'm just not falling in love with any of them. I don't know. Maybe I need to date new girls. Oh, shut up. I'm sorry. Did I just hear you tell me to... You can date every girl in the city. It still won't make your penis any bigger. What the hell is that supposed to mean? You're obsessed with it. And, you know, why not? You have to compensate for that personality of yours somehow, right? You've never had a meaningful relationship. You chase after women half your age in a desperate attempt to compensate for your low self-esteem and to counteract your deep-rooted desire to lay your mother. Which, let's face it, if you ever actually did, would probably leave her as unsatisfied as your other so-called conquest. Hmm? No, no. There's more. There's so, so much more. You know, it's, it's, it's no big deal. It's just that, you know, I have dreams about having sex with dudes. I mean, they're just dreams, right? That's right. They're just dreams. Uh, just a second. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's homosexuality, and it's for you. Binge, purge, binge, purge. You get any skinnier, and I'm gonna throw up. So now with three night lights, that covers me if two go up. So you got... Oh, oh God! <gasps> Better. No. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. You're doing great. Look at you. You're a rock. Right back at her? Right back at her. I mean, that doesn't feel good. No. 13, 14, 15, time. <laughs> Wanna go for 20? Next category, icons. Liza, Babs, Liz Taylor. Hold on, just wait a second, just wait, just hold on. Go back to tweezing. And that's why someday apes really could take over the world. You know what I mean? Say more about that. Discuss it some more. No. No more discussing. Thank you. You were right. And I'm seeing a woman now. One woman. You always said I'd figure things out in due time. Well, you were right. You're a good man. Oh, and the plant. I'm sorry, you know, a little bit of a freak. Not to worry. Okay. Thanks, Doc. 
I'm down to one nightlife. Today, I ate a whole chicken breast. She's been real nice lately. I saw four in that cartoon. You know the ninjas? And I was OK. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Taka. Dr. Stern? Oh, doctor, I was hoping to hear from you again. Mind if I put you on the speaker? Well, I thought I'd try you again because I was hoping you might pass on what you learned about the best way to handle patients. I mean, whenever it'd be convenient for you. Dr. Stern? Uh, Dr. Stern? How's right now?